You look terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The gala? I will be attending. You're our inn, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the koi -no. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? I should find Sing. The jewels are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. England has seen enough of red. He Why not said... change the uniform? You'd all look dashing in a shade of butter yellow. The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. Get the bastards! Asleep. I wonder what's inside that crate. Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building, if it hasn't already. I can find some clues as to where the diamond went. This plan was genius. We'll get him this time. Friends with the Queen? Ha! She won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. Once he tries to walk out that door, he'll kiss his royal title goodbye. And henceforth be known as Prisoner Sea. They planted the diamond on the leap? Not good. Isn't 
charming as you are, Mr. Singh. <laughs> you flatter me, ma'am. Now, do tell me, how do you two know each other? Uh, we met at the missionary compound in fact. I had to find my sister. The logins were quite fond. <laughs> I could tell a person apart limb by limb. Who the devil is she? Little piggy has no fashion sense and needs to die. What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. I need to find a way out of here. Get out, all right. Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You 
sir. Halt for inspection. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him. Nothing. The coroner isn't here. Of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Some sort of criminal? What was all that commotion about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the Koh-i-Noor, your ladyship. Ha! Huh? The Koh-i-Noor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, Your Highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. If I may. Glass? The real Goino never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I, too, have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this, and why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies' secret headquarters. 
You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC members have been meeting on a regular basis. Mr. Green waits for you there. But we still don't understand. You made it. His Highness said you found the British Indies Company headquarters. They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. Whatever it is, it can't be good. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after Mr. Singh. This is where they're hiding that elusive sleeping gas. These crates can't leave London. It can't be. They're creating a biological weapon. I must destroy them. This is awful. The poor devil needs help. Oh God, help! Someone, please! What happened? 
be sorry. Don't let her This is it. We've got them now. Ellsworth. It can't be. I need to get a better look. Onward. Destroyed? How? There's someone in the vicinity! A spy! One of those rocks, I wager! Ah, it must be those damned renegades sing his friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You've been unmasked, Ellsworth. Give up. I knew you were to blame. Seize her! He's gone. I must report back to Mr. Singh immediately. What did you find out? Who's behind all of this? You're not going to like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brinley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He rushed off before I could catch up to him. I'm sorry, but we need to find him before he puts your life at more risk than he already has. I need some time to think on this.
Oh, good. You're here. His Highness seems to have caught a mild case of madness this morning. You were right when you said that this was our chance. I was. I propose we make a commotion. Lure out the Templar-controlled British Indies Company. And do what? Put yourself in the line of fire? I need to send Ellsworth a message. This won't be over until we can draw him out. This is something I must do. I will make a seat. then you need to rough them up a little. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I've heard you Templars are a bunch of pansies. Here we go. I have your back. Send a message to Ellsworth. I'll, I'll do anything. Tell him to meet me at Lambeth Cemetery tonight and tell him to come alone. This the murderer. I saw a murder. Bill was going to the Meet me tonight at Lambeth Cemetery. He'll never come alone, even if I ask him to. Better. 
Caused quite a commotion. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. He's trying to take action. To do the right thing. Oh, never mind. I'll take it from here. Fine by me. I could use a good pint right about now. I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. In turn, he, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. I need you to get rid of them and meet me back here. It's essential that when Brinley does arrive, I have him to myself. Understood. Something's lurking. I'm going to see what that noise was.
Perhaps she's magic.
That'll certainly help quite a bit, thank you. He's here. I must talk to him. Don't be absurd. This is dangerous. Miss Fry, this is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have him see you. You can't escape me forever, Your Highness. Come out and face me. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Not with your recently acquired friends. I am alone, Elswick. It doesn't have to be like this. You can't just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a trophy, a stag's head above a mantelpiece. You've caused enough commotion as it is. It's time to put an end to this. If you kill me now, you will be a wanted man. <coughs> Imagine the uprising when they find out the only son of Rajit Singh has been murdered. has abandoned his people. You are not... Better investigate that noise. We were such good friends. Friends? <laughs> you were no more... <laughs> a prisoner in Prince's clothing. You're lucky to be alive. I admit, I'm surprised they let you live. Elsworth, listen. I've had enough of this. Are you alive? No, you mustn't. This is what I was sent here for. Be done with it, girl. I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The logins, the company, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learned nothing of India, of its people. But killing you? That is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you were raised, Sing. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. We will bury you in English soil. You have done me much good. I am heavily indebted to you both. We are happy to help. I fear that I cannot continue handling things in this manner. The assassin way is not my way. As helpful as you have been. This empire, this land, my people. The problem is so much bigger than death. I know I must devote my life to this cause, to put India, my home, back onto the map, return it to its people. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. We understand, Your Highness. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find us. That I do. Thank you, Assassins. Hopefully we never shall meet again. Oh dear, is that what you're wearing?
cane gives you an undeniable air of joie de vivre. Hello, Miss Fry. Good to see you again. I've been looking for you. Perfect time for a jaunt around London. I need a wee bit of advice. These past few days when I've been doing my round, some bampot starts following me. Nervous looking laddie. Oh, he's up to any good. Tell you what, do your rounds as usual. If he appears, I'll keep an eye on him. When we return, put him into the train. Aye, all right. Agnes, take care. There's a gang out looking for you. Ugh, not at all. Just one gleek little laddie following me. You certain? Certain as can be. What do you think will happen, really? There he is, the rascal.
You damn pillock. Uh, sorry, but that woman's from an important gang. Gang? What gang's that? I think it's in a train. Sounds like the bastards will be okay, look. Alert the lads on the rooftops. We'll take her out. in the station. Tenny be damned. I must get to the station before Agnes does.
Apollo who's following Agnes. Nigel, Nigel Bumble. Why were you following us? I, I want to join your gang. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake, he knows who we are now. <laughs> All right, laddie. I can use you to tidy up the train a bit, if you didn't mind getting dirty. Really? Terrific. Uh, you won't regret it, miss. 